Good afternoon, everyone. I can say with certainty that there are various leaders in front of me here today. But how could I say that if I don't know any of you on a personal level? Well, that is due to the fact that, in my mind, leadership is equal to success. I say you're all leaders because you're all professionals that have to take a leadership role in order to become who you are today. When Mr. Ballard approached me, asking me to be here today, I was hesitant. I didn't want to do it because I was scared. As ridiculous as that may sound, doing this is something that comes hard to me. I'm a shy person, so doing these kind of things is more difficult than to a normal person. But then I said to myself, I have to do this, even if it makes me feel uncomfortable. Eventually, this will help me in the long run. Putting me out of my comfort zone is the main way high school has helped to make me a leader of learning. High school has helped mold me into a leader of learning. Now, I'm not going to lie to you and say that I am a well-formed leader already. It is something that I continuously work on. However, I feel that by what high school has taught me, I am in a better position to become an effective leader. I am a leader because of all the rigorous projects and assignments that I've been exposed to. For example, we had a symposium at East Dublin High School. The topic was GMOs, or genetically modified organisms. Our objective was to gather information and present our findings to our school. Next, we went on to a STEM symposium held here in Durham, where we also made a presentation of GMOs, except this time we presented to different students, different students throughout the country, throughout the state, sorry. This experience was pivotal for me. It truly opened my eyes as to what we're actually consuming on a daily basis. Additionally, in my biology class is one of the classes that have participated in the STEM program. Even though I struggled in this project, in this subject, I saw firsthand the effort and dedication of my teachers to help us via the STEM program. This program is great, and I, I really truly believe in it, and I think it aids students to see the world through more cultured eyes. A leader. That's what we should all strive to be, especially a leader of learning, because if we're not a leader, then we fall into the category of being a follower. Moreover, being a follower sets us up to mediocrity. It tells us that we should be appeased with being second-rate material, that being average is sufficient. Being a follower won't expand our minds, nor will it aid in the, advance in the advancement of society. I think many traits come into play in order to be a leader. It consists of an assortment of attributes that will ultimately create a leader. In my opinion, taking a leadership role is of primordial essence in this time of day. Otherwise, you will be stepped on and it will be difficult to complete your goals. Lastly, I want to say that I'm very proud of my high school, which I just graduated from earlier this month. For without the leadership skills they've instilled in me, I would have become a follower. I will pursue my much coveted aspiration, which is to be a registered nurse. High school has molded me into a leader of learning. Thus, I am confident that I am prepared to take, undertake the endeavors I will surely face in this new stage of my life. Thank you.